is we're about to take this arrow and make sure the front edge of this insert is perfectly true. Now, if you look down on our spine tester, there is a tool, which is a carbide blade on this side, which allows us to roll that aluminum insert across the face of it, and in turn, we'll shave the front of it to make sure that it is in fact going to be perfectly square. Reason being, we want to find out exactly how perfect these broadheads can be when we thread them onto the front of the shaft. And when we th thread each one on, we will show in front of a ruler whether or not it is wobbling on the front of the shaft. This is the Carbon Express F15 fixed blade. Here we have the Carbon Express F15 fixed blade broadhead, uh, barely penetrated over half an inch outside the back of the plywood. You can see it does appear to have the full cutting diameter of the main blade and uh, right there you can see where the little bleeder blade was cutting. There's dual bleeder blades in this. Wound channel doesn't appear to be very wide although a two blade you gotta catch it from the right angle here is a better description of how the dual bleeder blades look entering you can see both of them did cut the gelatin and the entrance wound you got the main blade you can see the cuts there and the dual bleeder blades created that little flap I'd say it performed as expected this is the Carbon Express F15 fixed blade. It's a two blade cut on contact head with dual bleeder blades. The edge on the broad head appears to be fairly sharp yet. The bleeder blades appear to be fairly sharp. There's no dings in them from passing through or going into the plywood although it did not pass through. No structural damage to the broad head performed fairly well.